your iPhone, I have two quick tips. One, one is the unintentional quick tip of the other. Um, your iPhone default, when you set a new alarm, including via Siri, your iPhone defaults to whatever options, aka the alarm sound uh, that you and, and snoozable status, I think, that you used with the last alarm you manually configured. And the way that I learned this was on Wednesday morning, Tuesday morning, sorry. I don't know what day it is anymore. Anyway, I needed to get up. Um, I had a flight. I, I was leaving the house at 930. I figured, you know what? I'm going to get up at seven. I was already packed and everything, but it would give me time to just like chill and get things together. And then I could get on my way to the airport and all that good stuff. At 735, I woke up and I looked at my phone and the alarm was going silently because you can set a silent iPhone alarm. You can make it so that sound is none. And that's super handy if you want to have an alarm that alerts you, buzzes even, but doesn't make any sound because you might be, you might know that you're going to be in an environment like doing this show where I don't want the alarm to go off, but I want to know that, oh crap, we're running way late, which we're not. Everything's fine, but I want to know. And so evidently every alarm that I was setting with Siri would just inherit those settings. And uh, so I had to go and manually create an alarm and then tested it and create, then created one automatically with Siri and it was fine. But um, yeah, thankfully it, it was not, it was not like a super early morning pickup, you know, it was a nine 30 pickup. So I, I mean the, the chances of me sleeping past nine 30 on a night, I mean, it happens sometimes if I'm up late for a gig, but not thank goodness it didn't happen. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm sure that the, the driver who came to the house to, to take me to the airport would have, uh, would have beeped his horn or called me or something. And he would have, he would have gotten me. We would have gotten there fine. So anyway, beware the silent iPhone alarm.